Our own Chris Wallace, as you know, will be moderating the first presidential debate next Tuesday. He has just released the topics. They include Trump and Biden's records, the Supreme Court, COVID-19, the economy, race and violence in our cities, and the integrity of the election. We don't know the order that those will come in. We know it starts at 9 p.m. next Tuesday. Power panel now. James Freeman, Wall Street Journal editorial board and Fox News contributor. Ethan Bierman, attorney and radio host of Left Coast News. Uh, I will come to you first just with a reaction on the topics. James. Yeah, that, uh, that seems to cover it. I think... Uh... Certainly, uh, Mr. Biden comes in with a nice uh, sort of sense of low expectations about, after questions about uh, how he's handled some recent interviews. But uh, uh, obviously, the Supreme Court uh, decision is going to be huge. And when you talk about records, that does leave a lot to discuss. Uh, with Joe Biden, you're talking about half a century as a career politician. Uh, I had on Aaron Perini from the uh, press department at the Trump 2020 campaign, Ethan, and they are doing now a lowering of those expectations and saying, you know, her boss, the comms director, said, expect Biden to bring his A game. What does that mean? What kind of pressure does that put on your candidate as a Democrat? Oh, I think uh, Joe Biden's going to do fantastic. Look, there's a great team preparing him for the debates. These topics actually uh, we're in agreement here, I think are excellent and spot on for what we need to be discussing for the presidential election coming up. Joe will be able to address the fact that he learns through the years as new evidence comes in. So I know the Republicans will try and jab at changing positions over the years, but Democrats take new data in and change positions based on that information, as opposed to trying to be stuck in 1789, as we just heard about a Supreme Court nominee um, so Joe's going to be sharp. He's going to be ready and he's going to come out swinging right. against Donald Trump as well. I want to step in, and ask each gentleman a quick, quick question on these topics. And you got to be fast because we're running out of show because of that press conference that was making news that we took. So on COVID-19, Kaylee McEnany took a lot of questions. Uh, James, the president on that needs to do what next Tuesday? Well, I think he should get credit and he should do more to explain and emphasize that uh, the simple fact is this does not present a great risk to children. And we shouldn't be tearing apart educational systems and our economy on this uh, false right. premise that, uh, that they are at a high risk. They're not. Ethan, when I bring you back, I'm going to ask you about Joe Biden and race and violence in our cities. That's another topic. But to be fair, I do not want to have to cut you gentlemen off mid-sentence, which sometimes can happen at the end of the program, as we've seen. Uh, thank you for sticking with me through the press briefing and the breaking news. Appreciate your time, and I'll see you very soon. I hope. I'm Harris. The Daily Briefing begins with Dana Perino now.